judiciary, recruitment of additional judicial officers, more courts, as well as improved case clearance rates are among key markers in uh, progress that Chief Justice Martha Cormick claims have taken place during her first year in office. And a Citizen TV senior reporter Seth Olale highlights CJ Kome, who presided of the judiciary's inaugural prayer day outside her chambers in Nairobi, called upon judicial officers to exercise the highest standards of integrity as enshrined in the institution's code of conduct in order to maintain public confidence. <laughs> Chief Justice Martha Kome used the inaugural Judiciary National Day of Prayer to highlight some of the improvements she has effected in the institution since assuming office exactly a year ago. Top of the CJ's notable changes is the operationalization of the judiciary fund and increased budgetary allocation by 1 billion shillings from 17.9 in 2021 to 18.9 billion shillings in 2022. I look forward to even more increased budgetary support going into the future considering the enormous task of institutional building required in the judiciary. 64 magistrates have been admitted and posted to various courts. The Chief Justice Martha Kome targeting to have a magistrate in every sub-county in the country. The number of environmental and land courts has risen to 37, with employment and labor relations courts increasing to 11. We are hopeful that by the end of this year, we will have significantly expanded the reach of the High Court to nearly all the counties and re-establish the operations of the Court of Appeal in Nakuru and Nyeri. Eight small claims courts that have been rolled out of the 13 gazetted are operational. The aim is to have 100 such courts operationalized by the end of the year. In addition, there has been an establishment of a special sexual and gender violence court in Mombasa. The largely peaceful political party's primaries last month is attributed to the decentralization of political parties' dispute tribunal, which is in seven regions in the country. And those who were dissatisfied with uh, outcomes, they peacefully went to court to seek resolutions. We pray this will continue even for the general elections. The judiciary has also embraced alternative justice system that has necessitated 14 billion shillings to be released back to the economy. The rate of case clearance has shot up to 87%, meaning 320 cases have been concluded out of the 375 cases filed. Other notable changes affected by the CJ include operationalization and revision of the Judicial Code of Conduct, establishment of a judicial police unit, 54-acre allocation for construction of a judicial academy, and automation of the judiciary through the e-courts. We are calling upon ourselves to use this day to remember and reaffirm our commitment and to remind us of the oath of office that we took on the day that we all assumed office. The maiden National Day of Prayer outside the Chief Justice Chambers was marked across the country. Divine intervention comes in handy for an institution that is already dealing with election offenses cases ahead of the August 9th general election, as well as grappling with integrity issues touching a section of its members. Seth Olale, Citizen TV, other Supreme Courts, Nairobi County.